Murray, we go back a long way. I was watching that and uh, what it reminded me of is uh, the first time I met you was with my cousin, John Howell, and you raced a horse called Varnamo. And Sally Deming too, I shouldn't forget her. Sure, yeah. Varnamo was a good horse, trained by Noel Eels, won 16, I think, and uh, very good horse. We were a third owner and I just got married and it kept me going. <laughs> At that stage, I had no knowledge that you had this pen chance to be a trainer. Did you have that sort of feeling that was the direction you wanted to take? Yeah, I did. I've always liked horses and uh, I used to ride my bike out to Harry Green's at Green Meadows when I was about 12. And uh, first horse he put me on was Embrace, contact out of Cuddlesome. Uh, one seven, and then of course Cuddlesome produced the dip and light fingers, so I thought I was in good company. <laughs> Well, did you have dreams of becoming a jockey? Well, I did originally, but look at me now. <laughs> yeah, that, that dream went out the door, eh? It certainly did. But, you know, I always loved horses. And uh, when I came back from Europe, I worked for Ray Cotter, who was legendary trainer, won derbies, Cox Plate, the summer regent, and uh, got back into it that way. You settled in Woodville? Yeah, settled in Woodville and uh, a lot of great times bringing up the kids and uh, Bruce and Kay Marsh and Jeff and Jan Lins, we had a lot of fun times. And Woodville was a very good training centre, produced a lot of good horses. Certainly did. Uh, Sweden, you had a lot of stable staff coming from Sweden, didn't you? They, they, they tell me you didn't, may not have the best staff, but you had the best looking staff. <laughs> yeah, of course, I had to hand pick them. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it can't have been easy in 2000 to make the move up to Cambridge. Well, I knew I had to make it or I'd probably be working for the Pia Tour Rabbit Board or something <laughs> now. You know, so I got out when I could. And uh, very pleased to come to Cambridge. You know, that's where it all happens and the studs are around there and you're governed by the horse you get to train. I reckon you like red wine. You're getting better with age, though. <laughs> Oh, no, we're just lucky to have well-bred horses and it does make a big difference. Did you always thought that your, your son, Bjorn, would want to get involved in the industry as well? Well, he was a pharmacist when he came back from uh, Ireland and his mother was horrified. <laughs> he said, I'm going to be a horse trainer. Uh, but he's done well. He's moved to Sydney and good on him. And uh, I got a terrific replacement in Andrew, as you know, and he's an outstanding trainer. He's got a great grasp of the game and... Uh, it's going to go a long way. They tell me uh, trainers never retire where they've got an unraced two-year-old in their stable. I mean, where's the future for you, Murray? Well, I'm getting slower and slower, but I, I enjoy the uh, camaraderie at Cambridge. A lot of young trainers and Cambridge has turned into a big centre. I think it's the biggest training track in Australasia, up to 1,200 horses. So it's still a lot of fun. You've come a long way from those Woodville days. How many horses you got on your books now? Oh, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not that good at counting. Yeah, oh, come on, Murray. you got so many owners out here. Yeah, no, well, we've, we've got enough to keep going for a while. <laughs> what do you got in your stable that's unraced, Murray, that we can have a little bit of, you know, a dollar or two on to get our in, you know, entry fee into here back? Well, I haven't got names yet, Steve, so... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Murray. Well, what are you, you're looking forward to going back to Australia. 21 Group 1s, looking forward to number 22. Yeah, I must admit I love Australian racing. I'm addicted to it and we always search through and see if we can get two or three over there to compete. You know, it's, uh, it's great racing. They lead the world and uh, just pleased to be part of it. If you'd been younger, would you have gone there yourself? Most certainly I would have gone, yeah. I would have. Uh, and I would advise any young guy who thinks he's got the ability to back himself now and go. I noticed you didn't bring Bjorn up tonight. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but great to have him here, isn't it? And great to see the success he's having. Yeah, no, he's having a lot of success. And uh, I'd just like to say I thank my wife because she's, you know what trainers' wives are like. They get put through the mill and she stuck it out. And uh, fortunately, she's still there. Well done, dear. Marianne. Ladies and gentlemen, our first inductee tonight, Mr Murray Baker. Thank you.